Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, just hilarious. Charlemagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, uh, Lauren LaRosa is filling in for Jess. If you're just joining us, we're talking about something Tony Rock said, which is Chris Rock's brother, about uh, him being in movies or doing stuff with his brother, Chris Rock. Let's listen. Right. Here's something that I've always wanted to know. How is it that Chris Rock is your brother and I don't see you in no Chris Rock? And now, before you answer, here's the one that me up the most. The movie that Chris and Martin was in where they played brothers. So definitely had a few. That me up. I'm going, not in a million years do Chris Rock and Mar Martin have the same facial features. Yes. Tony is his brother uh. and look like him. How is Tony not in the fucking movie playing his brother? Explain that to me. <laughs> to try to explain. My brother, he's a businessman when it comes to his movies and TV right. stuff. You know what I'm saying? So Martin's bigger than me. I need to sell this movie. Tony's my brother. Yes, there, there will be some, you know, hey, him and his brother in the movie. Let's go check it out. But him and Martin push the needle more. Mm -hmm. Chris will tell you, I've asked him for five favors my whole life. He said no every time, and I swore on everything I loved, I would never ask him for anything as long as I lived. So we're asking 800 585 what are your thoughts? You know, if should you, be, should you have to put your family on? That is the question. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I'm an only child. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you guys in the room first. You have brothers? I, yes, I have an older brother, younger brother. And do you have to? No. Should you? Yes, but I think you do set boundaries depending on that your your relationship, but also depending on you know what your brother or your sister, whoever can do, and you got to protect kind of what you built sometimes. But Tony, but, Tony's funny as hell. Yeah, but I was about to say, if you got a talented family member that is in the business and is doing well and can uphold their own, like why not? Like you know what I mean? I I just look at you know, and and I don't know their relationship. I don't know if they have problems, if they don't like each other, what their relationship is. I don't know. We're not in that family, but I always look at the Wayans brothers, right? And the yeah. Wayans, they hire everybody, and not just for in front of the camera. You know, they come up here, they talk about behind the scenes, runners, show runners, and all this other stuff. So I wouldn't know. If Tony wasn't funny, then I'd be like, okay, I get it. But Tony's funny But when the Chris Rock, Will Smith stuff happened, Tony came out like heavy. Ready to fight like, for yeah, Chris. It's his brother. That's his brother, right. You know what I mean? So it seems like they they cool. Like they just got a sibling relationship. So I don't know what's going on. What you think, Charlotte? He ain't hiring nobody. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like you know, I, I, yeah, I don't feel like you're not. Obli I don't feel like you're obligated to 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 put put um put on a family member. Um, I think you should put on people who put themselves in positions to win, and you should put on people who you feel like you want to put on. Like, I mean, I guess that it got to be in your spirit, right? Like, if, if I don't know what the situation is, maybe Chris feels like he maybe hasn't had the right role for Tony. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the reasoning is. You know what I mean? I know there's two sides to every story, but do you have to? No. Are you obligated to? No. Should you? It depends. See, it I, depends. I, if I had a brother or sister, I, I think my mother and my father would make me. Oh, they try to like, make you all like, the time. Like my mom, like my mom and my pops would force me. They were like, what you doing? You bringing your brother with you. Oh. I, like, they would force me. Yes. But, but I would force my kids too. Like, when my kids do something, I'd be like, take your brother with you. Make sure your brother knows what he's doing. Make sure you say, like, Yes, but then if you had siblings, you will also know like it's certain times where taking your brother with you might not make sense depending on where your brother is in his right. life or whatever. But I have no issue with that. Like when you can help, you help. When you can, you can't sink the ship. If you build, if you the person that's building the ship, you can't sink the ship trying to help everybody else. True. Unless that person, like Charlotte said, if they in a position to, you know what I mean, they're gonna keep and push the ship. Cool, go ahead. Yeah, you gotta put. You can only put people in positions to win if said person has already put themselves in a position. That's the whole thing about putting somebody on, right? You don't you don't really put people on. People put themselves on and then you assist, you assist. them yeah. in helping them you either to, get to that next level or you see mm -hmm. an opportunity for them and this person is already prepared for it, then you plug them in. Like there's really no such thing as putting somebody on. I can't just wave a magic wand and say, ha ha, you're on. Sitting on my lap don't work either. That ain't true. Mm. Hello, who's this? <laughs> good morning, it's Lynn. <laughs> hey, Lynn, good morning. What's your thoughts, Lynn? I feel like he should have put his brother on. I feel like in certain communities, people always feel like they got to struggle. I'm not saying, like, put on a lazy family member, but if you see that they're working hard, like, help them out. Okay. Thank yeah, you. But don't it got to be the right thing, though? Like, it got to be the right opportunity. Like, you can't just put him anywhere. You want to put him in a position to win even more. For the Martin conversation, when I he mean, was talking about... Go ahead, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I mean, you're right, but at the end of the day, who are you to pick and choose what would have been right or wrong? Like, you got to get an opportunity. No, you the business. No, no, you the no. business owner. <laughs> See, that don't Thank make you. no sense. Exactly. You can't say, who are you? I'm the person that's putting them in position. Yeah, it got to make sense. It got to make sense. The Martin thing that he said, it's like, I get that. Martin's a bigger name. He's trying to sell a movie. But there has, ha there has had to be other times where he could have threw the... We all have wondered this because I used to well, wonder, wonder that about Tony too. Like, he opened why? up for his brother a couple times, right? Didn't he? Didn't he open for, up for Chris yeah, a couple times? Yeah, but it's Chris Rock. It's so much other things that he can also do as well too, like movies and shows. It's just a lot. Like I, I think the I, Chris, I think it. the top five example he gave was the best one because he said that Chris told him to, that he was going to put him in the movie, and he never got the and call. Didn't yeah. Right. So that that to me that's is the crazy. best example. Like, yeah. but that's crazy though. You are saying that because you think it's crazy? Yeah, I think it's crazy. That's, yeah. a be, that's a better example than the Martin thing. But I just look at the Wayne's brothers, and I guess it's two different families, two different people. But I just look at, I mean, they had showing a DJ. They had this one doing this. They had their brothers and so much stuff to make sure their brothers, were, their family was taken care of. I just look at that differently. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Robin from Detroit. Robin, what up, though? Hey, good morning. Good morning. So when it comes down to Chris Rock and Tony Rock, I just feel like this. Look at the Wayne's brothers dynamic. They all are successful, and they made a name for themselves, all because one brother started everything to put them on. I get it that Tony Rock don't want to hand out for anything for his brother, but what's wrong with a little stuff? You know, a little help. Think about it. Tony Rock, I mean, yeah, Tony Rock, he was in all the bus, and I thought he was hilarious. In what? So, what did you want to see of him? Huh? You said he was in what? All of us. With, uh, uh, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was pretty funny. The dude was pretty dope. But what is it that you really don't, you don't see that much of him. So, I mean, as Chris Rock and his brother, I don't see what the issue with a little help or, you know, put him on somehow. You know, that's all. I mean, I just yeah. think like, go, go ahead. No, I was going to say Tony was in, uh, he was on Everybody Hates Chris. He, he, had, a he, he, he had a recurring he role was. on Everybody Hates Chris. He played uh, Uncle, Uncle something. I know he was an uncle on Everybody Hates Chris. Right. He did. I forgot about that. You're right. He, yeah. He still got, you know, some things, but, you know, I mean, if your brother's, you know, I'm not saying, like, okay, this is your brother's successful. You have to hang on his coattails. No, I'm not saying that, but it's not wrong with a little, you know, a little bit more help if you can get it to him. That's all I'm, you know. Thank you, Robin. 800-585-1051. If you're just joining us, we're talking about a, a clip that went viral over the weekend. It was Tony Rock talking about uh, his brother Chris and, uh, his brother helping him out in the business. Let's discuss. Just ask him what's your thoughts. 800 585 1051. Salute to Aerie Spears. That comes from the Aerie Spears podcast. Oh, it's Aerie Spears. Way. Shout out to Aerie Spears. Yeah. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. We're talking about this Tony Rock clip that went viral. He was talking about his brother, Chris Rock, and this is what he was. This is what they were talking about. This is something that I've always wanted to know. How is it that Chris Rock is your brother? And I don't see you in no Chris Rock. And now, before you answer, here's the one that f***ed me up the most. The movie that Chris and Martin was in, where they played brothers. No, definitely. That, that, that f***ed me up. I'm going, not in a million years do Chris Rock and Mar Martin have the same facial features. Yes. Tony is his brother yeah. and look like him. How is Tony not in the f***ing movie playing his brother? Explain to, that to, to me. To try to explain. My brother, he's a businessman when it comes to his movies and TV right. stuff. You know what I'm saying? So Martin's bigger than me. I need to sell this movie. Tony's my brother. Yes, there, there will be some, you know, hey, him and his brother in the movie. Let's go check it out. But him and Martin push the needle more. Mm -hmm. Chris will tell you, I've asked him for five favors my whole life. He said no every time, and I swore on everything I loved, I would never ask him for anything as long as I lived. Now, that was off of the Aries Spears podcast. We're just taking your calls. 800 now, now, yes, that is off Aries Spears podcast. Uh -huh. And I, I do want to just note, yes, to Chris might not have never have found the right movie role for Tony, but Tony did have a recurring character on Everybody Hates Chris. Right. Like, that's, that, like, that's important. Yeah. Okay. That was a huge show. Yes. He played Uncle Ryan Uncle on Ryan. Everybody Hates Chris. Hello, who's this? This is Big J. Big J, what's up? Talk to us. What's your thoughts, brother? Hey, man, we, we as black people, man, this sense of entitlement, man, we got to stop. If I get on and I make it, it's not my responsibility to make sure another adult makes it. Whether that's my brother, my, my sister, my cousin, whoever. Now, I can look out at my choice, 
But after that, man, that's on you. You got to make your own path. I ain't got. I can't design your path for you. I see what you're saying. I kind of disagree, though. I, I I feel like if you if you in a space and an opportunity to bring somebody up, you should. Everybody yeah, can't they gonna keep coming back, man. They like stray dogs. You feed them once, they're gonna be on your porch every day. <laughs> first, Bye, of all, first of all, first of all, you don't have to compare, use cats for that. One. Yeah, you don't have to compare black okay. people to stray dogs. I don't want to. I don't want to call my people stray dogs. You but did. I'll just say that they're they're more needy than others when you hand out a handout. Jesus. Hey, hey, yeah, Goodbye, and, and it's not a handout. Once again. Chris Rock may not have found the right movie vehicle for Tony Rock, but when he had a sitcom, his brother had a recurring character on there on Everybody Hates Chris as Uncle Ryan. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Shania. Hey, Naya, good morning. What's your, what's your thoughts? Hi. So regarding the Chris Rock situation, I feel like I do understand why he decided to go with Martin Lawrence. I don't yep. think it's necessary to put your family on, but I feel like, you know, if you can, it's definitely good to do that. But I don't think it's like a necessity, especially if you're like a famous actor like Chris Rock and a comedian and you want to sell a movie. Yeah, for, for that situation, yeah. I understand him getting Martin Lawrence. Yeah, Martin Lawrence is the biggest star. You want to sell a movie. You want to sell tickets. I understand that. But the other ones, like I said, I just don't know. Maybe he felt like it wasn't a good fit. I like, I don't know. Hello, who's this? What up, though? What up, though? Detroit's on, on here heavy this morning. Yes, sir. What's your thoughts, brother? Man, you got to take the business over everything. I understand it. Uh, you saying think about the business first, right? Hello. Hello. Family, I get it. Yeah. Uh, family with the, the love, they can get a percentage, maybe. A but percentage of what? Of nothing? No, they got to work now. Bro. <laughs> yeah, give them the money that's coming from the, the, the business. Man, I'm, just not, I'm not giving you a percentage just because. Are you crazy? Hello, who's this? <laughs> what are we talking about? Hello? Yeah. Hey, Hold bro. on, PJ. What's your thoughts, brother? I think that's crazy, bro. Because it's not even like he's doing Tony a uh, favor. Like, he's actually funny. Chris is not even all that funny to be doing that. All right. That's now, why. You're bugging now. Yeah, but y'all missing the point. What's that? The point is, Chris has put to Tony had a recurring role on Everybody Hates Chris. What has um, Tony Rock, what's some of the stuff that Tony Rock has done, I'm sorry, Chris Rock has done since Everybody Hates Chris? Since Everybody Hates Chris? Uh, I don't know. What has got, he done? I, there has of, have it's, been, it's been a lot of stand-up. Mm -hmm. It's been roles, and he's, he's played roles in shows. Like, I know he was in Fargo. I mean, Chris does a lot, but I mean, it's like his own vehicles that he's actually producing and stuff. I don't know. Because I think people's sentiment with like being like, nah, that's crazy Chris Rock is because Chris Rock is like, the big huge superstar Chris Rock and people feel like Tony Rock is funny and he's not as big of a star and his brother is so he should be I think that's kind of where that's coming from too it's like yeah he did Everybody Hates Chris huge show great opportunity and he did well but what else I think that's the sentiment that we're yeah, I think, I think it's, all, it's all how you look at it and I think it's all how you look at family some people believe in that you know people gotta make their own ways and do their own thing I look at family differently right I wanna set my family up I wanna set my kids up I wanna set if I had a brother or sister up and I hope that if they were in a better position than I was, they would do the same for me. Yeah. That, that's how I would look at you, family. You want your, like I was just telling Mac, Mac was here earlier. I was like, if I had a brother, I would want my brother to be a part of my team because you feel like, or you would hope that your brother is somebody that you could always trust, that he's not there for money. He's not there for the accolades. He's there because he actually loves you. You would hope that. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you but, have brothers and sisters. Yeah, but just because we're in the same business uh, don't mean that we're doing the same things. And mm -hmm. I'll look out when I can, but also... Tony might be wanting to do a lot of his own things. I think the biggest the biggest thing that I heard Tony talk about was when he said that Chris hit him up and was like, yo, I want you to be in top five. Mm -hmm. And then he never heard anything back. You know, other than that, I don't I don't think that, you know, Chris has an obligation to do anything. But I will also say this, and I think we all know that sometimes we want to do something and we forget. Like the you can't forget that the ball man. is dropping certain things. You you would think, oh, I, I told my brother, oh, I forgot. Nobody called my brother. Nah, like, you don't got sibling because your mom ain't gonna let you forget that. Say, I'm, mom, I'm what if I didn't call my brother about that movie? You know what's going. First of all, my mom and my brother. My mom's gonna. He he's just showing up anyway. You told your brother he had a job and he's here. <laughs> your brother gonna show up. Better regardless. figure this out. <laughs> you better yes, figure this out like right she, now. I'm calling mom. You, I don't care no how old you, you just are. Forget. I'm calling mom. No, you don't just forget about something like that with your sibling. Mm. All I know is salute to Tony Rock. Salute to Chris Rock. And my peoples, uh, Tony was definitely a recurring character on Everybody Hates Chris. As far as movies and stuff, I can't, I don't know. I can't speak for any of that. But he definitely had a recurring role on Everybody Hates Chris. 
He might pop up on the cartoon. Mm. We don't know. He could. You might be on the Everybody Still Hates Chris cartoon that's out right now. Mm. They don't give me beef, though. Like, they don't give me that they, like, not all okay. Like, like there's more to it. I just think, I don't know. Chris they is just... not really a confrontational type of person, right? But And Tony be out Tony's here ready. stepping hard for his Yeah, brother. he does. Absolutely. I wonder, should you even be having that conversation on a podcast? I, You know what's so crazy? I've never heard him talk about anything like this when it comes to his Me brother. Neither. People ask this question a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know what made him decide to do it now. Well, Me neither. That's what I was wondering. I was like, should he even be having this conversation on a podcast? I, I, yeah. Because he knows how people are going to pick this apart. He knows people are going to criticize Chris. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows that. And I know I know he don't want that for Chris. Nah, because he be ready to throw hands real Absolutely. quick for his brother. Absolutely. But I also think, too, like, I used to, um, Miss Diddy, I'm sorry, that's not her name anymore. Candace Grace used to do um, this, like, comedy night in L.A. Mm-hmm. every Wednesday. Um, and Tony Rock would host it. Mm-hmm. And he was so, so funny, but he would never, ever lean into anything about Chris Rock or like, it was some you certain don't have people. To. Yeah, he don't have exactly. To. He wanted to build his own name. It was certain people that I would bring there that didn't even know he was Chris Rock's brother. Mm. And I thought that that was dope. Like, he didn't lean into any of that. He can, but he didn't. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.